All right, let's bring in the Federation of Governing Bodies of South African Schools. It says it's still awaiting directions from the Basic Education Ministry on an amended school calendar. Here's the background again. President Ramaphosa saying all public schools will close until August 24, except for matrix in grade 7. But some schools have or stated that the school calendar issued by the minister on June 7 gives them a right to phase in grades earlier than anticipated. It's messy. It's confusing. Joining us now on lunchtime uh, is, uh, from the Federation is uh, Jaco Dierken. Mr. Dierken, good afternoon to you and welcome. This directive, first of all, that you're expecting from the minister. Has it come? When is it going to come, do you think? No, we haven't seen anything uh, in terms of a regulation or a directive. And though, therefore, the old regulations or the current regulations and directives and school calendar is still applicable. So those schools who want to remain open can still be open as the president only made an announcement without any legal backing or new, new regulations in that regard. What damage then is this confusion doing to the school calendar, do you think? Well, it's definitely not helping to instill public confidence into uh, the decision makers' ability to make sound decisions and to back it up with legislation. But it's also attacking our constitutional democracy. We cannot uh, allow politicians to dictate over podiums what should happen if it's not part of the law and part of our legal framework. So this is more than just about the opening of schools. It's about the rule of law and the protection of our constitution, and obviously what's in the best interest of the children, as set out in section 28 of our constitution. I'm assuming, Mr. Deacon, that you have tried uh, to get in touch with the minister or her office. Um, yes. What's happening? Indeed, we've been uh, engaging with the national ministry, the national department of education. No, nobody in the office could give us a clear answer as to when we can expect the new directives or new, new school calendar and uh, very few organizations uh, can actually proceed with court actions if we don't see the content of the regulations and directives. That will guide us whether to approach the courts or not. So at this point, uh, there has been talk about you going to court. You would wait for that directive to come before there is any legal challenge here. You, you, but how long can you wait, I guess, is the question. Well, that, that, that's, uh, that's unfortunately the position. Everybody in the sector are waiting now for those directive or directions. Uh, but I think we did support a small breather or short breather. We know some of our member schools have been working uh, around the clock since lockdown with distance education through electronic means. So they're already in week 15 of electronic or distance education. So for some schools, the breather is necessary but still it must be in line with our legislation. The Congress of South African Students, along with the Educators Union of South Africa, say they're going ahead with a planned national shutdown at private schools. Um, what's your reading, what's your assessment of that development? Well, again, they need to use the legal mechanisms that's available. So you cannot simply storm a school and disrupt education as you'll infringe on the constitutional rights of the learners in the school. So the right, the right way to go about and under a constitutional democracy and in terms of the rule of law is to approach the courts. If not, then uh, we hope that authorities, the SAPS and the Defence Force, if needed, should take action to prevent uh, the disruption of schooling, whether it's at private institutions or at public schools. That cannot be allowed. That will simply mean that we allow anarchy in our system. And uh, so we condemn the threats and it should not happen. Jacko Dierkem, thank you very much indeed. The Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Federation of Governing Bodies, thanks very much for joining us.